What's going on World Wide Web? It's your boy Trey Libra. I wasn't going to vlog today. Um, I have a lot on my plate and uh, I am um, I am being a father. I am trying to learn more. I am trying to write and I am trying to record. Have not set up the mic yet. Just now getting here to my older kid's house. Um, but anyhow, um, I'll show you guys. I am working hard. I apologize if this vlog is all over the place, but um, I figured I could take this opportunity to talk to you guys. Be real, be open. Um, I'm 30 plus years old. And um, my goal and one of my dreams is uh, still to become a um, an established recording artist. And when I say established recording artist, that means uh, tour, that means uh, put out recordings that sells, that means licensing my music to uh, movies, video games, traveling, seeing the world, meeting people, okay? Um, but let's be realistic here. Um, lately, I want to say in the last two, three, hell, maybe even eight years, um, I don't have any like politically correct stats or anything like that but there's been a decline in um, CDs we all know that uh, CDs was the uh, like the when you when you think of music you think of before mp3s before iTunes and all that you you think of CDs being the main uh, sale of, of an artist's work not records that was back in the days not cassettes but CDs all right, so going back, if you go into Target, Walmart, Best Buy, um, this not a, this not including uh, FYE in your local uh, record shop, but if you go into places such as Target, Best Buy, Walmart, you've noticed a decline of CDs. Like they've um, they've consolidated their CD section. It's getting smaller, smaller, and smart, smaller. And um, <clears throat> what this is showing you that of course there's a decline in people actually going to the stores to go buy the album because a lot of people are buying the, um, the album, the, the LP, the EP, or whatever it is, single on iTunes, Google Play, and all these other online uh, digital stores. And um, even, even they, I believe, are um, on a decline. Uh, people aren't buying records nowadays, and, and that's what leads me to this whole conversation. Um, I've noticed uh, people are going platinum now just on streaming websites. Like, we're considering streaming being platinum now. Um, services such as Pandora, um, Spotify, um, if there's, I'm not sure if there's any more out there, but it's crazy right now so it leads me to think what am I doing you know what I'm saying like what am I doing you know and, and I look at some of my peers uh, in the city out of city those who are online trying to make a career in music rap music R&B or whatever what are we doing what, what's the goal what's the ultimate goal like what, what are we trying to uh, lock down um, like I don't think a lot of people think about this you know, a lot of us are just trying to get famous. You know what I'm saying? And and I understand that. Sometimes fame can bring money, you know. Uh, once people know who you are, then they get up off their ass and go buy your record or whatever. But um, I wonder if a lot of us artists, we do we really think of, stop and think, okay, I've been an artist for over 10, 15, 20 years. Like myself, you kind of like... Um, triple trip over into the new millennium of like music and you don't stop and think 
at the end of the day, um, what does making it really means now? Like, um, Young Thug definition before he popped off might be different from my definition of making it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think a lot of us artists need to stop and, and think, why are we still in it? What are we trying to prove? What are we trying to get out of it? Well, I, I, I told you what I'm trying to get out of it. Um, the fame is really not all that important it's 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 mainly about selling music you know what i'm saying uh whether it be digital whether it be um uh physical copy an actual cd whether it be being booked to travel to the next city to perform and getting paid for that or even selling my merchandise my shirts and stuff like that so that's what it means to me and just touching people about what because a lot of my content is very positive content informative content you know and i want to be able to wake people up um empower people um that's what most of my content is about you know uh but yeah i'm sorry if it's like not really sticking to a topic or a subject today but i just i don't know um ranting whatever but um yeah like uh if y'all can get up in my comments I, by a show of comments, I want to know how many of y'all actually still purchase music. Like, why do you purchase music? How do you purchase music? Do you go to Target? Do you go to Best Buy? Do you go to Walmart? Do you go to FYE? Do you go to Bananas Music? Do you go to Daddy Cool? Do you still go to the record store to buy your CD or your record? Or do you buy it off of iTunes or Google Play? Or do you just pay for a membership on Tidal. That's, that was another one. I forgot. Tidal, Spotify, and Pandora, and just stream your music. Like, how do you get your music fix? I want to know in the comment section, all right? Uh, me, personally, I still buy CDs. I buy CDs. I might think it's old-fashioned, but what I do is I buy CDs, I'll bring it to my laptop, and I'll rip it. Rip it and convert it into MP3, and then I'll throw it on... Um, this little thingy right here it may look like a phone but it's not a phone right here this is a um this is about whoo five six years old it is a samsung galaxy mp3 player and um the size you get it depends on the s the micro or mini sd card you have inside of it so that's what i do um i like to have something tangible I buy the record and then once I get home, I'll rip it to MP3 and then throw it on that. So anyways, um, I'm about to get back to writing and uh, recording uh, because I really want to put out the uh, Black Recluse and um, I hope I got some buyers out there. I really do. All right. To the next time. Peace.